Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. This is the August 2023 look at solar activity. This is actually going to become a monthly feature. So once a month, around the 15th of the month, mid-month, I will be talking about solar activity, where we are at, where we're going, and what to expect. So we are August 2023. Now, there's a lot of people, you know, talking about, well, you know, conditions are not that great and so on. One thing to remember is that in high solar activity, conditions change from minute to minute, hour to hour. Depending on the day side, night side, always look at the conditions in general. Don't base your observations on the conditions, though, because you never know. But, you know, a quiet K index when it's green is always a good sign, usually. And we're in high solar activity, so the solar flux is always higher. So solar flux here, 154, sunspot number 89. So, you know, these are good conditions. Higher frequencies are great. And there is seasonal changes in there. Somebody was telling me, why isn't the 10-meter band open with such a high um, solar flux? Well, 10-meter band has this funny way of being better in the winter with high solar activity than in the summertime. It's not dead. It's still, it works. Uh, high year signals on 10 meters every day, but it's different. Um, and the long distance 10 meter band is actually better very often in the winter time for some reason. And, you know, it has to do with the way that the ionosphere works and how ionized it is. Uh, we are getting higher and higher in solar activity. So remember that, you know, these things are going to be even more intense if there are solar flares and, uh, you know, space weather storms of some sort. Are probably going to be uh, even more frequent, but don't base your you know observations on a one day listening or a one hour listening. It might be bad at 3 p.m. local, but it might be good at 5 p.m. local. Don't think that it's going to be bad a full day if it wasn't great when you turned on the radio a certain time. Uh, solar activity is higher. We've reached actually a higher peak of solar activity now that we haven't seen in more than 20 years. Uh, so we are higher now in solar activity than we were at the last solar cycle, which shows us that predictions were wrong, and we're getting into what will probably be an even bigger solar um, cycle 25 uh, within the next uh, couple of years. Just go to websites like you know spaceweather.com, look at the conditions, look at what things are all about, uh, solar flux and uh, the K-index, they're going to guide you. And remember, in a solar storm, things are not just bad. There are some interesting phenomena in there. Tune around. You might not hear your usual stations. You might not hear what you uh, always want to be listening to. But suddenly, there could be something like, you know, north-south signals being stronger for, like, signals from South America, for example, suddenly became, becoming much stronger in North America. Unusual things, like, for example... K-index was high. There was a lot of geomagnetic activity going on. And yet, it was amazing how strong of a signal from China was on the 16-meter band at midnight local. So, you know, it's, it's these weird things that makes you want to tune around. Do tune around even when conditions seem bad. Who knows? And tune around to bands that you never listen to also at the same time. So, you know, take the time. Spaceweather.com, great place to see what's the activity all about. Solarham.net, another great website talking about solar activity. Both links are in the description below. Follow these sites and check out what's happening there. Uh, also will help you in understanding what's happening on your radio. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.